Hey guys, welcome back to Machine Gun Mike. Today we're going to be taking a look at probably my new favorite 22 suppressors, or at least one of my favorite 22 suppressors, and it's this one right here. It is the Dead Air Mask. You know, shooting this suppressor against a lot of other 22 cans that I own, it just seems a little bit quieter. It also really doesn't have any first round pop, which is pretty awesome. And it's just a good suppressor. It's really got a low tone to it. And really that low tone might be what actually contributes to it sounding like it's quieter. But all I can say, with all that said, totally no scientific data, is that it is a very good suppressor. So the su suppressor itself, the tube is made of titanium and the baffles and end caps are made of stainless steel. Whereas most other companies use aluminum. So this does make the can a little bit heavier than some of the others out there. I think it's about 6.6 .6 ounces and it's about 5.1 inches long. But honestly, it is worth that little bit of weight for how nice a suppressor is. So to disassemble the suppressor, it's really simple. You use a tool to actually loosen the end cap, which I already did earlier today. And you take that off. Then you come to the back, you unscrew this. And then all of those stainless steel baffles will just come right out. All right, and here they are. As you can see, those little tabs on them help lock them into each other. And here's an individual baffle so you can see it. And this is obviously what makes all the magic happen and makes this suppressor so quiet. So to put it back together, all you gotta do is lock all these tabs together. And obviously, usually you would just take it apart to clean. Uh, mine really isn't that dirty. It's a little dirty, but it definitely doesn't really need any cleaning yet. So I'm just going to put it back together how it is. Tighten that on there. Put that end cap on there. And there you go. So to pair with this suppressor today, we are going to be shooting one of my just Ruger 2245 lights. Not a super special pistol, cheap pistol, honestly, but really good for the money. So they actually come with a threaded barrel. So you undo this end cap, and obviously I've made sure the gun is clear. Be a bad spot to put your fingers if it wasn't. Then you just take the can. Thread it on like that. ready to go do some shooting. Okay, we've got a little bit of steel set up. As you can hear, the steel is way louder than the gun itself. So I'll put two on the steel, and then one in the dirt, or three. So when I shoot in the dirt, you can really hear how quiet this gun is compared to the steel. It's quiet. <laughs> it really doesn't get uh, tiring shooting this thing. It's cheap to shoot too. That's kind of nice for a change. So let's go load up a little bit more. Good. Right, guys well there you have it the ruger 2245 light pistol and the dead air mask hd 22 suppressor you know being made of titanium and stainless steel makes a suppressor very durable and then it's also very quiet has no first round pop and it also has a really low tone to it that makes it pleasant to the ears 
So with all those things put together, this suppressor has pretty quickly become my favorite 22 suppressor that's available on the market right now. So obviously those guys at Dead Air are definitely doing something right. So anyways, with all that said, as always, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please definitely subscribe to my channel and check me out on my Facebook page. I don't post a ton of stuff there, but every now and then I put up some pictures and some videos. It's www.facebook.com slash machine gun mic YouTube. And until next time, y'all have a good day. I'll see you here later.